All that's new, new and approved from the jester. <laughs> good morning, good people. Um, it's bloody cold. Can you see? I've got the thing, look. I've got the thing on. Oh, that's no, not good. Right. I've got the thing on because it's just you know. Brrr, it's about six in the morning. and It's freezing in here. Um, <coughs> but then it's freezing anywhere. What have we got for you today? Well. On the 11th of December 2022, at 10pm, a rather interesting article came out. All of the links are, of course, as usual, in the doobrays, so please go and have a look at the description. Um, and it's getting close to Christmas, so here we go. Um, oh yeah, buy me a coffee, will you? Keep me going. Um, or subscribe to my Substack, which you can do now. Um, or, for goodness sake, you know, come and be a warrior teacher. At another meeting. At the night. Brilliant. Great night. People doing some great work in this film. Great work. Okay, so that's fantastic. So what have we got today? Well, <clears throat> there's a Tory think tank called Conservative Way Forward. Okay, Conservative Way Forward. I don't know whether you've heard of them. Um, again, I'll put the links in the doobries because they've been doing some interesting stuff by the look of it. And they've been taking a look at expenditure on workery. <laughs> Which, as you know, is not... <laughs> something I've got much time for, and in particular the element of wokery that is called EDI. Right? Okay. Now I've said this a dozen times before, but I'm going to say it again for the uninitiated. Right? It's not EDI. It's die. Okay. Right? It's not EDI. It's die. EDI is a quality of opportunity, diversity of thought, and inclusivity in action. If you want to change something, turn up. Die is diversity of immutable characteristic, inclusivity in the in-group, and equity or equality of outcome, which, as we know, most of you will know, is murderous, right? So what they're actually talking about is die, and I do wish they'd get this right. Uh, because most practice is die, not EDI. Right? There's not enough black people, there's not enough white people, there's not enough gay people, there's not enough disabled people. It's all that kind of, you know, let's level everything out nonsense, right? So... This particularly uh, uh, difficult situation has meant that these people at the Conservative Way Forward have done a little bit of the old diggings and finding out what's going on, you see, in this particular situation in the UK. So let's have a quick look at it. Uh, bear in mind, please, that the first rule of equality, diversity and inclusion is that people have the right to be left alone. That's it. That's it. That's rule number one. All right, just so you know. Again, I'm sure I've said this before, but, you know, let's keep going anyway. So... Now, research by Conservative Way Forward, a Tory think tank, says this cost the taxpayer for the civil service days wasted on equality and diversity training. It's cost the taxpayer 150 million a year. 150 million a year. That's surreal. 150 million a year. I can't, it's just, what? To do what? Shouldn't cost that. All it, you know, all it needs is a video that tells the historic and social context of how we got where we are in regards to equality. And then good recruitment practices within the HR department. You don't need EDI departments. Why are they doing this? Oh, of course. It's actually got nothing to do with EDI. It's die, and it's actually about uh, cultural Marxism. There you go, that's why they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so this also included, wait for it, <laughs> 24 days a year spent by the Intellectual Property Office. I've got problems with that first word. They spent 24 days playing a game called the Respect at Work board game. <laughs> this is adults. It's the Intellectual Property Office. <laughs> Playing a board game called the Respect at Work board game. I want it. You know, I want it. Uh, the Respect at Work board game. And almost 1,500 staff days spent by the London Fire Brigade on equality training. 1,500 staff days. What? The report reveals that public sector organisations employed 10,000 members of staff to deal with issues focused on equality, diversity and inclusivity. The public sector is building a socialist state at the heart of Britain. Of Britain. <coughs> They're becoming a socialist state. This is what happens when behemoths, and it could equally be said of a behemoth that is corporate, 
behemoths, when behemoths are given free reign to do what the hell they want, they end up corrupted. And it's, we've got corruption across the board, folks, right? Uh, 10,000 members, 10,000 EDI drones. <laughs> like someone out of a horror film, isn't it? Right? These roles set the taxpayer back. Here we go. It gets even better. This is just incredible. 427 million a year. That's, that's 427 million. What? That's, that's right. And the average EDI employee receives an annual salary of 42,000. You know, they could have got me in, right, to do maybe a conference in front of, you know, a thousand people. Here we go. Here's how we got the R. Let's celebrate the good news of, you know, what we've done. HR should be dealing with any recruitment and, and discipline issues regarding discrimination. The rest of it you don't need. The rest of it you don't need, right? Okay, so they're paying these people 42,000 and the average nurse's salary is 34. When a country's priorities, well, not a country, but when, a, when an organisation's priorities are that fucked up, then somebody has to start asking some questions. And thankfully, the people at the Conservative Way Forward have done so. Right. <clears throat> right, it says, British taxpayers face the highest burden since the Second World War, which is true, we do, it's getting worse. But millions of pounds from the public purse are being spent on damaging and politically motivated activities. Ta-da! There it is. The think tank's research is based on an audit of government accounts. They've audited the government accounts and they've done freedom of information requests to 6,000 public bodies. This is not two people in a room, you know, going, which way is the wind blowing? This is a serious piece of research. So they've done it six... So... Order, order, order to audit a government, government account and freedom of information request to 6,000 public bodies covering spending on EDI initiatives in government, arm's length organisations and contractors, including the company building the HS2 rail link. <sighs> right. EDI jobs in the public sector cost the taxpayer £557 million a year, the report claims. While well, billions, billions are spent on initiatives, diversity initiatives by Quangos, including contributions to a campaign on unlearning whiteness. They've let the racists in. They've let the critical race theory racists in. Like that, you know that nut job from the charity? <laughs> Looks like there's some skeletons in her closet. <laughs> the one that got rid of some 80 year old in the, in the palace. Oh, I can feel the sting of an investigation, madam. <laughs> so 557 million a year, unlearning whiteness. Oh, and surprise, surprise, the unlearning whiteness was by the publicly funded Arts Council. <laughs> Arts Council, who gave us, I think, did they give us pissed off trannies or some other crap? Arts Council. Shut down, right? The Conservative Way Forward research also highlights that 397 local councils employ 794 EDI members of staff between them. It's two in each one, practically, isn't it? On average, every council across the UK employs two full-time members of staff with an annual salary expenditure of 67 grand. Can you say boondoggle? It's a great American word, boondoggle. Look it up. It's a good American word, boondoggle. It comes as Jeremy Hunt... The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, the Chancellor, faces a rebellion from four to Conservative MPs over seven billion of government spend on woke projects. Seven billion, right, is the is the budget for research for STEM in this country, science, technology, engineering, maths, that's about the same amount. They're spending as much money on this shit as we are on moving the country forward based in subjects that do reality. Seven billion. Where'd you go with that? Butter's £2.45 a pat. You know? Where'd you go with that? Box of cereal's now four quid. Seven billion. The public need to know about this. They're, you, they ain't gonna be happy. <clears throat> so these MPs have written to Mr Hunt to demand that ministers cut spending <clears throat> on equality diversity measures <clears throat> And grants to charities and quangos in order to reduce taxes. Cut it all. They are bringing nothing to the fight. Nothing. They are bringing nothing to the advancement of the public. 
Nothing. Nothing to the advancement of science. Nothing. Get them gone. Get them gone. This is before you start counting the amount of money universities spend on all this shit. It just gets better. This letter criticises his decision to tax the British public at levels not seen since the second, end of the Second World War, which is true, and to spend more public money than at any point since the mid-1970s. This is a Conservative government. Do some conservating. Do something conservative. Do your job. <laughs> Whitehall sources said Mr Hunt will consider the report's findings as part of an efficiency review. Announced in the autumn statement last month. There's going to be an efficiency review. We'll find out now. You know that, don't you? We'll find out. We need to keep an eye on what the Conservative Way Forward think tank are doing because we'll find out now. We'll find out exactly what's going on. Because if the Tories don't cut the ass end off this, if they don't cut that seven billion down to practically zero, then we know that it is a widespread infection that has got nothing to do with politics and everything to do with another agenda. Tin hat. Tin hat. Right, OK. The Chancellor, said this spokesman, has been clear that spending discipline is crucial for building market credibility, so ensuring economic stability and driving long-term growth and sustainability, sustainably funding public services. Value for money remains paramount for the Treasury to help manage pressures from higher inflation and keep spending focused on the government's priorities. Departments will continue to identify efficiency saving in day-to-day -day budgets. Hmm. Not happy with that statement. But then we don't know what they're really going to do, do we? To help departments do this, the Chancellor is launching an efficiency and savings review. This will include reprioritising spending away from lower value and low priority programmes. I think it's in there. I think the end of it's in that particular article. Which is down in the Dubras if you want to have a read. Look, go and have a look, okay? <laughs> I think the wokesters are about to get up the backside. <laughs> and the fun will begin. Um, I suggest that many of you that are involved in diversity of immutable characteristic, inclusivity in the in-group and equality of outcome uh, want to get used to saying... Do you want fries with that? Right? That's not to say that people who say do you want fries with that make money from it are in any way lesser than anybody else. But it would just be glorious to see you having to do that instead of standing in front of people telling them to unlearn their whiteness or that homosexuals are in fact uh, wrong because they don't accept women in their beds. Right? Or don't wouldn't let women in their spaces. Or, or that you, you know, rape shelters have to have men in them. Right? So let's just move on, shall we? More later. Arr.